Okay, well, uh, it's Tuesday here, and uh, just finished playing 18-hole uh, practice round. And what do you think of the course, and what do you think for the week? I feel really good about the week. I've been home now for two weeks, working working hard on my game, and uh, you know I'm, I'm I'm excited about where it's going. I've, I've kind of tried to rededicate myself a little bit. I think I kind of got a little uh, a little lost in translation, if you want to call it that, with, with golf for the first four months this year. And, so I'm trying to get rededicated, but the golf course is in perfect shape, and uh, obviously this is home for me being in Hilton Head, and uh, you know, I've played this golf course many, many times. It's just a matter of getting things going. Obviously, it's real tight out there, small greens, so you really need to hit the ball well this week. And, and like I said, I've been home working hard, so I'm hoping for some good things. Yeah, I, we, we made we shot a lot of stuff out there, and I kept commenting about how just, it isn't just good enough to hit the, the a part of the field where you're going to be on the right part. Yes. Because there's trees always hanging out. I mean, there's got to be at least six greens out here with trees overhanging the greens, which then make a difficult shot to the green because you got to, you got to, you got to, you know, get it right between the trees or hit over corners of them. So I mean, it's it's a it's a definitely point A to point B golf course. Oh, there's no question. I, and and it's and that's the crazy thing about it. You look at 20 to 25 yard wide fairways at the most, and really they're not even that wide. You're you're really trying to hit to a particular section of the fairway, and it's just a, it's a great golf course. I mean, this is one of the most popular events on tour for a reason. Guys love coming here. You really gotta really gotta play golf, and it's a great area, and it's just it's always a good week. That's why we hope that they get a sponsor so it'll stay it'll yeah. stay alive. Yeah, it'll we'd be like sad to see, to see this go. Yeah, I think that I think the players on tour would be highly disappointed if this tournament went to the wayside. So I know I certainly wouldn't be. Not just because this is where I grew up. You know, this is where we lived oh, yeah. and grew so it's up. It's like a homecoming but, uh, for us. But uh, you know, this is just such a great event, and guys love it so much. It'd be a, it'd be a travesty if they didn't find a sponsor for this tournament. I so think we'll, so. We'll keep our fingers crossed. On too that. good a place. Too good a heritage. Going all the way back to the, you know, Arnold Palmer winning the first one. I think oh, it was '69. Sure. So yeah, yeah, it's got to go. One of the longest running tournaments yeah. on tour so it's it's been here a long time somebody said 43 43 years so that'd be a sad to go time, yep. I got a question for you man you play golf in sunglasses today yeah what's, you know what's, it's pretty bright that? it's pretty bright out here i just uh you know just trying it out see how it goes but uh you know it's it's today it's obviously as pretty of a day as we've seen all year on tour so with the sun being this bright it's uh you know there's a lot of green grass out there it's shiny out there uh, you know all the optometrists say and uh dr larry told us that uh, we talked about it he said it's good to you're on the sun as much as we are. You need these to, especially when you get older, to hopefully avoid cataracts. Well, you know, I, obviously any optometrist will tell you that. I, for me, it's always been a comfort issue, and I'm trying to get more comfortable with it. I'd like to wear sunglasses. It's kind of been an issue for me for for years. And, uh, you know, I, I, obviously I know it would be better for me to wear them, so I'm going to try and get get into it a little bit. I've always said just the fact that if you're not squinting and your eyes are more open, you, you have to be seeing better than, than having a squint looking out there. So, And it's healthy better, as Dr. Lambert says, to, uh, and all the optometrists, as you said, it helps you avoid those cataracts. So oh, for all of you out there, if you haven't tried it, you need to start trying to play with sunglasses because it's the healthier thing to do. Oh, absolutely. No question about so, it. So did it work pretty good today? Yeah, I mean, I felt okay with it. For me, it's it, like I said, it's been a comfort issue. I just never really have gotten comfortable with it, but I'm trying. So we'll see how it goes. Great. All right. Well, uh, Deej, good luck this weekend. Thanks, Dad. We'll, we'll catch up. We'll get to see you guys later. Okay. See you all.